Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Hey, are you up late and looking for something to freak you out? Maybe it's broad daylight and this is the only time that you'll dare to look at impending doom. Regardless of your motives, we're happy to oblige. So here we are with the top 10 horrible disasters waiting to happen. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know. Give it a thumbs up and in the comment section, tell us your horrible disaster predictions that are destined to happen in the future. Number 10, powerful earthquake. When we get powerful earthquakes, say a six or seven on the Richter scale, they generally cause massive damage. They're not just scary, they kill people. Now, imagine a 9.0 magnitude earthquake. They're not only extremely rare, but also destructive like nothing you've seen before. Previous 9.0 earthquakes have killed 200,000 in the 2004 Indian Ocean area, 16,000 in Japan, plus a nuclear meltdown, and a few others throughout history have caused extensive damage. Now we might be looking at one in the Pacific Northwest. There, the Juan de Fuca plate is slipping beneath the North American plate where it's been stuck for some time. As the pressure builds, once the plate gets free, there's about to be a huge disaster on the coast of Vancouver. In fact, they're expecting $75 billion in damages, plus thousands of people wounded and killed. Predicting when is the hard part, but we know it can happen any day now. Number 9. Space Rocks whether or not we're expecting the next dinosaur murdering asteroid that's going to wipe us out, a much smaller asteroid could set the whole climate out of whack. A study in 2016 looked into what would happen if a one kilometer in diameter asteroid struck the Earth. The results? Well, a massive crater, dust in our air for six years, possible wildfires that would take decades to extinguish, a sudden rise in temperatures due to particles in the air, and then a sudden decrease, possibly causing an ice age. 50% less rain and, shall I go on? NASA says there are about 900 near-Earth asteroids big enough to do this. However, according to Wired, there's a 0.01% chance of any of the ones we've found so far will ever hit us. Number 8. Worldwide Tornadoes For a lot of the world, tornadoes are an American thing. However, in 1989, 1,300 people died thanks to a massive tornado in Bangladesh. It's not alone either. The only continent to have never experienced a tornado is Antarctica. So, what's keeping the world from massive tornadoes? just the right climate circumstances, as we saw in 2004, when a two and a half mile wide tornado devastated Nebraska. What's next? I'm sure we'll find out. Number seven, exploding lakes in Africa. When you think of bodies of water that can kill you, lakes aren't probably that high on your list, unless you live near these West African lakes in Cameroon, where in 1986, they had a limnic eruption. This is a result of dissolved CO2 from a nearby volcano eruption. The CO2 in Lake Nyos kept accumulating due to its abnormal stillness, and after a still unknown trigger, it blew up. Over 1,700 people died, 3,500 livestock were killed, and the lake, which now has iron deposits, came to the surface and looked blood red. Since then, scientists are left with more questions than answers, and no body of water seems safe anymore. Number 6. SF Gas Leak We know the California fault line is coming for San Francisco, but that's not all. There are also threats of toxic gas leaks. The ocean floor in the area is said to contain gas leaks, methane specifically. Now, it would take an unusually large earthquake to unleash them, but you know who has a massive earthquake in its future? San Francisco. Say the earthquake ripped through one of these bubbles, then what? Well, a huge oceanic hole would burst out of nowhere, so big it could sink an oil tanker. Airplanes would see oxygen drop and could fall from the sky. Some say this is exactly what happened around the Bermuda Triangle. 
Number 5. Supervolcano Under Yellowstone Oh, you didn't hear about that. The massive national park with the beautiful Grand Prismatic Spring sits on a chamber of magna so big it makes the floor of lava feel like a real thing. In the past, the volcano has erupted large amounts of ash, so large you could fill Lake Erie with them, twice. About 640,000 years ago, the park saw the super eruption that carved the Yellowstone caldera out of the earth. The last big eruption was about 70,000 years ago, so we are about due for another one soon. If we did see an eruption, it would most likely kill everyone in the United States and according to many geologists, would eventually kill three quarters of the world population. Luckily, scientists are 99% sure it won't happen in the 21st century. Number 4. Disease We've seen how easily a disease gets out of control. With air travel and long incubation periods, anything could happen. We've seen all the movies, too. Bird Box alone got us thinking about what type of things could make our whole world turn against each other, how vulnerable we are to manipulation, and just how easy it is for Mother Nature to wipe us out with a simple flu, like it did in 1918. Who knows, maybe we'll be calling in sick sooner than we think. Number 3. Gamma Rays Well, that came out of nowhere. That's what we'll be saying when the next star collapses near us. Why? Because if we find ourselves in the path of the gamma rays resulting from the death of a nearby star, we'd all be extinct real quick. First of all, there's radiation. Also, add to that toxic energy, no atmosphere to protect us from the sun, and basically being burned alive by the sun. If stars around us could just stay alive, that'd be great. Number 2. Solar Flares This one may not be just waiting to happen. In fact, solar flares happen all the time. The magnitude is what has us a little worried. A huge solar flare toward us would be much worse than a sunburn or a hot day we'd be overexposed to cosmic energy and radiation. All of our brain activity could be affected, and add to that the fact that natural disasters would be on their way back to back. Number 1. Ice Age Despite the movies having made it look incredibly fun and interesting, a new ice age is not in our best interests. In fact, it would probably be the end of all humanity. A global freeze has, according to science, taken over our Earth at least four times. This happens when Jupiter and Saturn pull us a bit away from the Sun and limit our sunlight. In the future, the ice will reflect the sunlight, making it even worse, and we'll have no fossil fuels left to build a fire at that point. So, if we're to survive, we need to figure out how to stay alive fast. Any ideas? Thanks for watching. Got any good ideas for how to survive any of these disasters? Let us know in the comments. There's still time, and it's perfectly safe to click the subscribe button and notifications bell, plus give this video a like. Jeez, alien invasions and now these? Can't seem to catch a break anymore. Just saying.